فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من My dear brothers and sisters, this must be said as well, no matter how awkward it is. Right now is the month of football season. Right now is the month where everybody is engrossed in watching that match that only occurs once every four years. I am not going to lecture you that it is haram to watch such matches. I will lecture you that anybody who prefers anything over the regular qiyams and regular salat and regular taraweeh, then this person does not have his priorities in order. My dear brothers and sisters, Ramadan only comes really once a year. And it is far more important than matches and games and whatnot. Prioritize. If you must watch, make sure it is not at the expense of your regular ibadah. That's my point to you. If you must do it, make sure you have your regular routines of Quran and of Qiyam and of Dhikr and of Dua and realize that Qiyam, i.e. Taraweeh, is one of the highlights of Ramadan. Our Prophet ﷺ said, whoever prays every night of Ramadan, all of his previous sins will be forgiven. So who would want to give up? It's only an hour and 15 minutes. It's all we're going to do. This is our promise to you at MIC. If, if Isha begins at 10 o'clock, our goal by 11.15, khalas, everything is finished, including the lecture. We have... Alhamdulillah held up this goal for the last three years and inshallah we intend to do the same as well. It's just an hour 15 minutes of your daily routine uh, so that inshallah we can make this qiyam every single evening. In Ramadan we are spoiled where we have juices and fruit juices and fries and so many things. Some of them are actually unhealthy. Do you know that? Very unhealthy. The worst way to break your fast is with